This is the paper and fold effect, and I did it all with CapCut. Almost. Ali Abdul made it popular with his short videos and has since been copied by many. This is a seemingly simple animation, but even the best editors could only do it with the best software, i.e. Adobe Premiere Pro slash After Effects, and I have never seen anyone do it without using the previous tools I just mentioned. I have spent more than a week just to figure out how to make this work, but now I'll show you how to do this and other paper animations in CapCut or any other video editing software. Works with any image, any animation all the time. All you need is the chroma key feature, your imagination, and a simple idea I came up with. One day, in the middle of my daily YouTube surfing, I came across this video. It's made by the YouTube channel named Validation. He got the idea by analyzing shorts from Ali Abdul, and it immediately caught my attention, so I threw myself in and watched the video at least three times. My brain started clicking, only to realize I cannot do this in CapCut. The first is a plugin for After Effects, and I didn't find anything like it for CapCut. The second method is doable, but I don't want to waste all my life savings on ink for my printer. And the advanced stuff he shows in the third method is yet again not something you can do in CapCut. So I hopped back to the internet, scrolling through Google Pages and YouTube videos, but I couldn't find anything similar to what I was looking for. I've started to give up on it, but something kept on going inside me in the back of my head. Until one day, while singing in the shower it hit me like an ice cream truck with a punch in the face, but I liked the flavor. It was a simple idea, but I knew this can take my editing skills to a whole new level. Not to mention I've never seen this done by anyone. And with lots of testing, I finally found a way to do the paper and fold effect in CapCut. I've managed to take the second method to a whole new level if more control is what you are looking for. But I'll show you the easy way first. I've used several little tricks to make this happen, which we'll use later in the Advanced Super Pro upgraded second level method as well. First of all, you need paper animations that have two colors in them, like green and blue slash red and yellow or orange or any other combo. I've found that this orange and red combo works really well with the chroma key in CapCut. So I'll be using most of these in this video. But I'll also show you why this might not work all the time. The reason for this is that sometimes when your image has the same color as the one in the animation you want to use the chroma key on, it will make part of your image disappear as well. So try to avoid pictures that have the same colors as the animations or it might give you a hard time finding the sweet spot. Secondly, you need to make compound clips or even different projects for your animations. This is the secret of how you can use two colors as chroma keys. Lastly, you'll need a secondary layer to help you hide the unwanted parts of your animations. This is where we will use another software to help bridge the gaps in CapCut. Now that you know the basic idea, let's do this paper unfold technique. Create a new project in CapCut, or in my case, I will continue my paper effect project, simply because I have already prepared everything in it. As you can see, all the prepared stuff is here, including the backgrounds folder. These are simple full HD files uploaded with a single color, which I also use in the animations. For the sake of demonstration, I'll start with white, but you can skip this step later on. I continue with the yellow background and place it above the white layer. Now comes the image that I want to animate. To do this, I need to go to the pictures folder. For the sake of synchronization with the Ali Abdul video, I will use this image from a watch. I simply place it above the yellow layer. Now comes the animation, which is in another folder. I'm going to use this unfold animation. This comes over the image layer. I know that this animation consists of 25 frames. So I will go forward another 5 frames, which will no longer be covered by the animation. Now I cut the bottom layers to match the desired length, and then I delete the unnecessary parts. Using the zoom hotkey, I enlarge the workspace so that everything fits nicely. This is how it looks so far. Now click on the animation layer, then click on the cutout tab in the upper right corner, then click on the chroma key and select the red color. Damn it! Make sure you are somewhere on the timeline where you can see the color you want to remove. Okay, one more time. Cutout tab, chroma key, color picker, and red color. Then increase the strength until all red is gone. Since this color combination works quite well, feel free to max it out. Let's see what we've done.
It's getting there, but let's see it in full screen. Let's go frame by frame. Not quite what we're looking for. See those parts where the paper animation hangs over the image? As it folds out more and more, it gets uglier. But I have a solution for this as well, which I will show you in a moment. But before that, let's see how what we created would look like. Select all three layers and create a compound clip. Let's go to the cutout tab again, then to the chroma key, then color picker and select the yellow color and adjust the intensity. As you can see, since the color of the bronze clock contains yellow, if you set it too strong, the clock disappears more and more. The minimum I can set here is 1, but parts of the clock still disappear. I'll zoom in so we can see better. A quick and good solution for this is to choose a background that is less visible. I think the black one will be good. Drag it onto the white layer, then confirm that you want to replace it. Let's see what we have now. It got much better. Let's also look at our animation. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's look at it frame by frame. This will be quite acceptable for a few seconds animation, but I still don't like how the paper animation hangs out like this. So let's get started and eliminate them. Select the animation layer, then right click and undo the compound clip. And here comes the magic. Go to the images folder and add the secondary layer to hide parts of the animation. Drag it above the animation layer, then go to the end of the image layer and cut off the unnecessary part of it. Now let's see what we have. Let's look at it frame by frame again. Hooray! Gone are those ugly paper overhangs. Now we can go back, select all four layers and make a compound clip again. And once more, use the yellow chroma key and we are ready. Let's watch and enjoy this wonderful animation we made. Well, it wasn't easy until now, but now I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a new animation with another image. Undo the compound clip. Find the new image you want to animate and simply drag it onto the previous image layer. Press the replace clip button. Now find the secondary layer of the new image that covers the overhangs of the animation and drag it on top of the previous secondary layer as before and confirm the replacement. And that's it. Let's see this one as well. Smooth as peanut butter and crisp like a biscuit. If you are satisfied with the result, you can export it and start producing your next viral video with this paper animation. But before you start your new video, let me show you how to change the animation if you want a little more variation. Let's go to the animation folder and select another paper tearing effect. As with the images, simply drag this onto the existing animation layer and replace the old one. However, these animations may not be the same length as the previous one, as you can see here. So you have to delete the old animation layer and drag the new animation onto a new layer. Sometimes it doesn't allow or it's quite difficult to insert it between the existing layers, so it's easier to drag it to the top and move the secondary layer above it. However, this is only a visual thing, since the newest animation layer is on top, that is, it covers the secondary layer. So don't forget to change the layer order on the basic tab. Damn it! As I said before, don't be as lame as me, and before that go to a place on the timeline where you can see the animation. Now let's change the layer order. If we did it right, the secondary layer should cover the animation layer, which you can see in the preview. Now let's use the chroma key and remove the red parts. And we are done. We produced another animation. Here is another one. I can simply replace it since it is already the same length. Okay, one more and we are done for the day. I uploaded each animation to a Google Drive folder, because I'm such a nice guy, the link to which you can find in the description. You don't have to enter an email or anything, and you can use it freely wherever you want. If you have any questions about the video or any other part of it, write a comment and I'll answer it, or if it's too complex, I'll make another video explaining it in detail. If you liked the video, 
give it a like, and if you want to see more similar videos, subscribe to the channel because you won't find another one like this. See you in the next one.